Archbishop Warda, it is great to talk to you and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Give us an idea of what the Christian community was like in Iraq before the Islamic State took power in 2014 and what it's like now for Christians in Iraq after they lost power in 2017. In 2014, uh, um, we had a very strong and uh, very alive community in, in Nineveh Plain. Uh, unfortunately, that attack uh, have made us lose around 5,000 families, left the country. Uh, some of the families stayed here in Erbil because they don't feel safe and secure to go back to Mosul. Uh, some of the houses are completely destroyed and rebuilding these houses is very costly. Thank God we have now around 8,000 families were able to go back and with the help of churches and NGOs, they've started rebuilding these villages. You said that the families are reluctant to return, some of them because of a feeling of uh, insecurity. Is that warranted? Is it still unsafe for many Christian families in parts of Iraq? I mean, when you speak about Mosul, for example, the, the old city of Mosul where Christians uh, have lived uh, for many centuries there it's completely destroyed and you will go, you will you will see that when the his holiness will visit mosul the wounds are deep and some of the families they don't feel that it's time to go fully to mosul but for example for me to go from here to karamles i have to pass three checkpoints and each check, each, each checkpoint is a different unit so this diversity of, of these armed units, some of them would call militias, some of them would call uh, Hashid, whatever the name, will not give you a sense of security. Everyone wants to have one uh, security unit, whether it was local police, armed, whatever, better than having all of these diverse units there. I read in an interview before, Archbishop, you said that the world cannot afford for Christianity to disappear from Iraq and the Middle East. Did you think at some stage there was a real possibility that it might disappear completely from the region? Yes, uh, since 2003, uh, life is, is very difficult and challenging for Christians. Over, six, over 67 churches and shrines were, were attacked. Over 20, I mean, they've said from 15,000 to 25,000 properties were lost and stolen, over 1,200 Christians were killed, two priests uh, were killed in, in a mass on Sunday with over 50 faithfuls, uh, Father Raghid Genni and Father uh, Paulus and, and so many deacons, yeah, lots of challenges and, and then ISIS uh, with all of these attacks. So Christians were exhausted, were really tired. Some people would say, well, this country has no future in, in a way. Our people depend completely on, uh, on the presence of the bishops and, and priests. And we also uh, are encouraged by the, by the presence and examples of our faithfuls. It's beautiful. Normally here in Rome, I'm listening to the bells of St. Peter's Basilica just next to me here at the Vatican. But I hear the bells of your church there behind you, Archbishop, <laughs> as you talk about hope and people relying on the church. So perfect timing. Um, whenever I tell people about the upcoming trip, the first thing most of them ask me without fail is, is it going to be safe for the Pope and for people traveling? What do you think? I mean, His Holiness said the only reason would be the, the situation of COVID-19, that's all. Uh, otherwise, I mean, uh, I'm sure it will be safe and he will be welcomed and uh, we will take care of, of everyone traveling with him. And finally, Archbishop, what are your hopes and dreams for this trip for your nation of Iraq? My hopes and prayers for a successful visit and uh, that Iraq will be seen by the whole world as people of, of uh, good faith, people who, who loves uh, peace, and people who introduced uh, to the whole world uh, a great father, Abraham. And hopefully that uh, this visit would uh, leave behind it, uh, I mean, 
beautiful and uh, encouraging memories and scenes where everyone will start and think why we should go the road of violence if there is another road open. So, yes, uh, you are all brothers. Uh, I hope that this would remain uh, in, in the lives and memories of all Iraqis. Well, Archbishop Warda, there in Erbil in Iraq, it's been a pleasure talking to you from Rome here in Italy. Thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to seeing you there in your home country. Please, God, you are welcome. <laughs>